Brawlhalla and Overwatch introduce new fighters, Blade and Soul offers up more info on the Forgotten Souls update, Hearthstone hypes up for its next expansion, and some new things in Fortnite will have you saying, GET TO THE CHOPPER! What's good everyone, James Blon here with your weekly recap for gaming news and announcements of the week of March 20th, 2020. Starting out the news this week, League of Legends has revealed more details on its Fiddlesticks rework, making him even more terrifying. Now Fiddlesticks will be able to summon effigies on the battlefield that offer vision and will attack or self-destruct when approached by an enemy. His kit also allows him to send enemies fleeing in fear heal himself, slow and silence, and blink to new locations. No date just yet when he actually lands in the game renewed, but I would expect it soon. Meanwhile, in League's teamfight tactics, the new Galaxy set is now live, featuring new champions, traits, items, and balance changes. The game is also available on the mobile platform as well, with accounts tied together via Riot account, so any purchases you've made on PC can be accessed on either platform. Of course, your pass progression and rank sync up this way as well. This also kicks off a new season, so make sure you check out the full details at the link below. In other news, War Thunder has revealed its first major update of 2020, Viking Fury. This update brings over 50 new vehicles, over 30 of which are in the new Swedish Grounds Forces tech line. New land, sea, and air vehicles are also added across other nations too. In addition to this, two new locations have also been added, Denmark and Sweden. Enjoy your virtual war holiday in Europe. Brawlhalla has introduced a new permanent legend this past week, the Gargoyle Onyx. Onyx uses a cannon and gauntlets to pummel her foes alongside a globally updated cannon kit for all cannon using legends. Additionally, the game is kicking off a two week Luck of the Brawl event, which includes five exclusive skins, Lucky Clover colors, login bonuses, and more. Meanwhile, the earlier teased Spy Games are now live in Fortnite, where you can play as Ghost or Shadow Factions in order to unlock tech and earn special rewards. You'll battle it out in Operation Drop Zone LTM, which has a team goal of 150 eliminations, along with unlocking as much personal tech as you can. The games also unlock the brand new Choppa vehicle, a four-person helicopter that will grant you some aerial mobility for your team. And I guarantee you, it's been said a thousand times already, GET TO THE JOPPA! Blizzard's decided to go all out with hype for Hearthstone this past week as they announced their new expansion, Ashes of Outland. Set in the Burning Crusade timeline from World of Warcraft, players will battle against the Rusted Legion. The expansion will introduce new legendary minions called Primes, imprisoned demon cards that begin dormant, and over 135 new cards. It will also introduce a permanent new class, Demon Hunter, with Illidan Stormrage as its hero. The Demon Hunter will be an aggressive class that can deploy demons swiftly. It's already available for pre-purchase if you're ready to hunker down with Hearthstone again. And now is as good a time as any. In other news, Blade & Soul has released more information about its upcoming Forgotten Souls update, set to go live on March 25th. You'll be able to challenge the Stone Scale Passage, a new six-player heroic dungeon available in both easy and hard mode. Two new events will also kick off, one in the Ebon Realm where you can earn gems, XP charms, and more. The other is the Call to Arms where you can earn upgradable equipment through completing daily and weekly challenges. Hung Moon levels will also increase from 30 to 35, so there's more experience to chase if you've gotten that far. Overwatch has revealed its newest hero, Echo. Echo is probably the last hero arriving in the game until Overwatch 2 is launched, according to the reports, and has just hit the test servers. Echo's been part of the game's lore since the start, having been in previous cinematics and artwork, but now she joins the fray as a powerful damage dealer. What's actually crazy is her ultimate, Duplicate, which lets her take the role of an enemy team hero and use their abilities for a short time. Hmm. Pretty sure we've seen that game mechanic before, and it always sucks for the opposing team. Echo's definitely going to be a game changer. Well, it's been a somewhat quiet week when it comes to news, but to round things out, I wanted to let you guys know about a bunch of deals going on while everybody's been asked to stay at home and play a bunch of games if, you know, that's what you're into. I know I'm going to be playing some 
Doom Eternal now that it is finally here. Revelation Online has offered a free 30-day premium bundle to players. Drop rates are increased in Trove and Neverwinter. Champions Online and Fallout 76 are running double experience. Meanwhile, Dungeons & Dragons Online and Lord of the Rings Online have opened up most of their paid content for free through April. Population Zero is handing out 10,000 free game keys. You want to pick one of those up if you can. And if you're into it, or if you want to mention it to someone who is, Football Manager 2020 has also gone free to play until March 25th. We're likely going to see a ton more game deals and freebies in the next few weeks, so make sure you check out the links below for more information on these deals and more. Either way, that's about it for all the major news and announcements for this week. For more information on the news topics, check the links in the description below. Feel free to discuss the news or even more news in the comments below, and don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that little bell icon to get notifications, and of course, share this video. But until next time, guys, that's going to be it for me. I'm James Blonde. See you out there, gamers.